The cord is a two-wire, 18-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cover from the router. Now I can remove the control board and switch so I have access to the cord wires. The black cord wire connects to one side of the switch and the white cord wire to the control board. Next I'll need to unsolder these connections. I'll use a soldering gun to heat the joint so I can remove the wire. Another helpful tool is some desoldering braid. This is braided copper, and when I apply it to the joint, the solder will wick into the copper braid. And now I'll remove the black wire from the switch. With the wires unsoldered, now I can remove the cord clamp. And then the cord. I'll remove the strain relief by pulling the cord out of it. Now I can install the new cord. I'll thread the cord wires through the strain relief and pull it through the other side. Now I'll clamp the cord back into the housing. You'll notice on the strain relief, one side is fatter than the other. I want the fat side down against the lower housing. I'll insert enough of the cord through the strain relief so I can grab it with the clamp. Now I can reconnect the wires. The black wire to the switch. I'll apply some flux to the joint, which makes the solder flow and adhere better. I'll heat up the connection and solder it into place. Now I'll reconnect the white wire to the circuit board. Again apply flux and solder it into place. Now I can tuck the circuit board and switch back into the housing and I'll make sure all the wires are tucked out of the way so they don't get pinched. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's all it takes to replace the power cord on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 